That's no way to start your day. Oh, excuse me, Princess Diana. I have something important to ask you. Would you rather I tiptoe in here and give you butterfly kisses until you stir for two and a half hours? Ding, 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 there's this no. This is a clumsy ponytail. Well, Snow I'm White sleeping. has Snow White has updos. Right now, you don't look like Snow White. You look like a bicycle repairman. Oh. You're not Snow White. You don't need to 69 with a baby deer to wake up. There's a really expansive middle ground between those scenarios and your actions before. Anyways, I've gathered you all here today to talk about colleges. How's your GPA? It's rising. I have a chance at valedictorian. And actually, I found out that Brendan is getting a C in AP Bio right now. I like that. And I'm getting an A plus in Algebra 2 and Trig. <laughs> algebra 2 and Fig? If you're my daughter and you're above junior year, you better be in post-calc. Intro to space numbers. That's not a class, Mom. You don't know that. Let's talk shop. What's on your college list? Okay, well, there's Oberlin. Terry, that place is a witch nest. It's a coven. If Abigail Proctor lived through the crucible, she would be at Oberlin right now, bunking with Tichiba. Abigail Proctor did live through the crucible. Not in my version. I started crossing out her lines after Act 1. That's not how it works. Yes, it is. For me, it is. You get bored of a character, cross out the lines. Okay, Mom, well, Oberlin's a really good school. Everyone who goes to Oberlin, Terry, looks like they could be a boss from The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Mom, that's not fair. Villanova she... is just a bunch of sorority girls who are all hand on their hip confident, wearing tiaras, until about 2 a.m. when they lose their cell phones and then they're scream crying in an alleyway, eating guacamole out of their own high heels. Emerson. Instead of a diploma, you get an 8 by 11 signed photo of Jay Leno when you graduate. It's a theater school, Terry. You haven't seen undeserved self-satisfaction until you've seen a group of theater kids singing Bohemian Rhapsody. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Yeah, that's true. I don't want to have a theater girl as a roommate. No, your room would be covered in Marilyn Monroe posters and playbills. You wouldn't have any room for your Weird Al Yankovic poster. I don't have a Weird Al Yankovic poster. Oh yeah, maybe I'm just thinking of your full-length mirror. 